sometimes things go right. It's gonna get more intense. Good morning and welcome to a reading vlog. I haven't done like a regular just reading vlog um, in a while, it feels like. Guys, can, what if you didn't do that, huh? So as I was trying to say before, I was so rudely interrupted by my furry baby. Stop it! Okay, now I've fed the beast. Well, nope, she's not going for it. Go eat! Go eat! Anyway, welcome to a reading vlog that's not like a project, that's not a rant, that's not, that's not anything. I just, this is the last weekend of July. I have read pretty much everything that's on my TBR, everything that's an obligation. And I have today and tomorrow to just kind of read whatever. And that whatever, I intend to be, at the very least, finishing Jade War. <laughs> yeah, so then my patrons can stop trolling me about the fact that I haven't finished this yet. I want to finish it. It's not that I don't. They're just, you know, isn't, it's not a read-along or a live or a whatever. So I'm very, very excited to spend the rest of this weekend finishing Jade War. But I am more than halfway through Jade War. I am like 60% of the way through. So I should definitely be able to finish Jade War. Like not a problem. I'm on page 337 of, of 587. And the font isn't very, isn't like tiny. So anyway, that's like number one main thing that I want to read this weekend. And then um, I do have some audiobooks out from the library. It's been really hyped, so, and I, I skipped last month for Book of the Month, or this month, I should say. I skipped July for Book of the Month, so I don't have a Book of the Month to read in August. Um, but everyone's been really hyping. The one that I almost considered, or that I was considering and almost got, I almost picked, uh, it's like Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow or something like that. It's got a, t it's just Tomorrow is definitely in the title. And uh, so I checked my library and I was gonna like request it. Uh, like put a hold on it, but they had a skip the line copy available and I don't know if this is true for every library uh, I'm, I, I use the Libby app, but for the LA library, so I don't know if this is something that they all do um, But they do have like a skip the line copy and I don't know how or why like it, it might be because someone has like like returned it super early I don't know but a skip the line copy you only get it for like a uh, limited days like normally um, I get 20 days when I get a book from the library, <clears throat> but a skip the line copy is like seven days. So I do need to, I got that skip the line copy like two days ago. So I have like four, four or five days left to do that. Um, so when I finish Jade War, I probably want to get to that, but I don't have the physical book yet. So if I like it, I'll get it from book of the month as an add on. Um, next time I actually get a book of the month. No, I don't like it. Well, I got it from the library, so, you know, yay. So, Jade War, probably tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, that's what it's called. Hope that's what it's called. And then whatever else strikes my fancy, if I have time for anything else. Um, this morning is the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club uh, at 11, but that's it. Like, that's the only thing I have planned. And then I do need, you know, to be filming a wrap-up and a TBR, and I have another video that I actually need to script. So I might spend a little time today or tomorrow um, scripting that video. I don't normally script videos. <laughs> this is a big deal. But yeah, I don't really, I don't have anything else. I don't have any plans. I'm not, no one's coming over. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have tickets for anything. It's just the live show at 11 and that's it. So then, and I have finished my obligation book. So I can, I was like, I can just vlog this weekend. Just, you know, have coffee, read books, live life, you know, you know. So I'm really, I'm really honestly really excited for this um, and to finish Shade War because I've been wanting to finish it since I started it. Maybe I'll start Jade Legacy. Yeah, the only like thing happening this weekend other than the Blades of Outsurpers book club uh, is my order of um, a bunch of new copies should arrive today. Um, hopefully 
in the morning so I can have it this morning, but if not, it should arrive today so I can have it tomorrow. Um, but if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you're probably aware of one, how much coffee I drink in general, and two, how much I love Bones coffee, which is um, flavored coffee. Uh, it's not sweetened or anything like that. It's just like, it's kind of like the LaCroix of coffee where it's, it's just flavored, essenced, but there's no, like, there's nothing added to it because I drink coffee black. Um, so the only way to like zhuzh up your coffee if you drink it black is to have a flavored coffee. And they have some of the best flavored coffee in the world. I don't always like every single one of their flavors. I do like most of their flavors. Um, but it doesn't, like if you get like vanilla coffee from the grocery store, I, they are not paying me for this. But I'm just a huge, 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 huge fan. So I just want you to understand why I'm excited, why like it is an event to me that I have coffee arriving. So you're like, you have an order of coffee arriving. How is this a thing that is happening this weekend? So anyway, it's a thing that's happening this weekend because in general, I get excited for when I, as I usually order a bunch at once because I want to make the minimum for free shipping and I will drink it all. And so I just like get a bunch, uh, you know, uh, in one go. So whenever I have a Bones coffee order coming in, it's always like a pretty big order. Anyway, 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 yes. But yeah, I was saying that like a grocery store or like cheaper flavored coffees, like they taste fake. You know, they taste like artificial vanilla um, and it's like, the flavoring is often used to mask like shitty coffee, <laughs> but they've like flavored it so you like hopefully can't tell that it's crap. Anyway, Bones Coffee is like good quality coffee. You can also get um, from them single origin coffee, which is not flavored or anything. It's just like um, this particular variety is sourced from a single origin. It's just black coffee. You can also get a really highly caffeinated black coffee um, that's not flavored. Um, that's I think it's called high voltage and uh, they now have an espresso. Um, uh, grind blend or whatever so also just just black coffee not flavored or anything but anyway the flavored coffees it's good quality coffee at the uh, you know as your baseline and then the flavoring they add to it it's like the little croy of coffee like it tastes like the thing that it's meant to taste like it tastes and I, I really don't know how they do it <laughs> sometimes I'm like how how is this flavor in here <laughs> I don't understand but it's delicious all that aside I generally love Bones Coffee, but they recently released a collaboration with Disney to do a series of Nightmare Before Christmas flavored coffees, where all of the packaging, because like all their packaging is really cute anyway, like I love their packaging with the little, with the little skelly guy and the, they have some that are like, uh, they've been doing like a line that are like movie inspired, cinema inspired, so they have, this is, I did not mean to talk about what is like 10 minutes about coffee, but anyway, you can just skip this part if you don't care. But um, yeah, they did like Mint Invaders from Chocolate Space and it looks like a poster from like an old sci-fi movie. Uh, they did uh, Army of Dark Chocolate, so it looks like Army of Darkness, um, but it's like dark chocolate flavored coffee. Um, they did Holy Cannoli, which uh, looks like the Godfather. It looks like the skelly guy looking like the Godfather. Anyway, so their packaging is always great, but the packaging for the this coffee all has the Night Before Christmas characters on it. And the flavors, I was originally, I was like, well, I definitely want to get some of these, but like, let's see what the flavors are. Because I wouldn't get all of them if some of the flavors sounded like crap to me. But all of the flavors sounded amazing and all the packaging was so cute that I got them all. So I got all the Night Before Christmas flavors and then uh, uh, on weekends I like to drink the free cereal flavored coffee because it's like, you know, Saturday morning fruity cereal. And I never, it's like nostalgia for a thing that I never actually experienced because I never ate fruity cereal as a kid. But the concept of it is nostalgic to me. Uh, I have a fruity cereal and milk scented candle also. Uh, and yeah, most, most Saturdays and Sundays, um, if I've got it and if I have time, I make the, it's a, it's called Electric Unicorn is the flavor name, but it's fruity cereal flavor coffee. So anyway, I got more of that because I always need that and all of the Night Before Christmas coffee. So anyway, I'm very excited to have that coffee. So that will, I will unbox that for you. Now, of course, the package will be delayed. After all this, the package will be delayed because that's how the universe works. Hopefully not. I have a Nightmare Before Christmas mug. It's more of a bucket of coffee. So yeah, that's what's happening in this vlog. I'm reading Jade War. I'm doing a live show that you won't see unless you're going to watch that live show. And I'm excited to unbox and try some coffee. Maybe I'll even make, brew all of the coffees so that I can taste them all. That seems excessive, but it was excessive to order them all. There will be footage of Kaz being cute. There will probably be footage of Kaz being mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. If you're not excited, then don't watch the video. Okay, cool. Bye. Like I said, because I'm so hyped for this coffee, it's not going to be here. Um, 
it still says scheduled delivery date is today by end of day estimated to arrive between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. however it's currently the current status of it is that it's in New Mexico in transit but it still says the scheduled delivery is by end of day today like I guess that's technically possible just find that unlikely so sad day no coffee I mean I have coffee obviously in my house but very very sad to not have my night before Christmas coffee because it's also it's really gloomy for no reason right now this would be a great time to have like Halloween in July but alas anyway we'll see we'll find out together if in fact my coffee arrives <laughs> In the interest of authenticity, I thought I should tell you that I all that lovely coffee that I made, I had to toss because I had to, um, well, I had cleaned the like uh, coffee drip mesh metal filter thing and it still had soap in it, I guess, because the entire pot of coffee I made tasted like soap, which was, which was horrifying and deeply upsetting. And then I was cleaning it and now I'm just made some Keurig coffee, as you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can currently hear it going rah, rah. Kaz is probably keeping an eye on it. Yep, she sure is. You supervising? Anyway, so yeah, I'm having this uh, last minute coffee. Um, the live starts in like 15 minutes. I have not had breakfast. I have not eaten anything. I don't have time to eat breakfast before it starts or make any breakfast, so I've ordered a breakfast burrito, which will probably arrive during the live. I mean, which will definitely arrive during the live, and I will eat it during the live. So this is going up obviously after that. So if you have already seen the live, then you probably saw me eat a burrito on that live. So much for um, aesthetic content. But sometimes, sometimes it just be like this. It's the greatest show on earth, huh? So, nice hot cup of last minute. I, uh, I am drinking out of my Cinnabones mug because this is Cinnabones coffee. It's my last K-cup of it. 
And uh, it also kind of matches the wardrobe change that has occurred. <laughs> I'm wearing my, hang on. I have changed into my Stranger Things 4 shirt. <laughs> kind of matches. So sometimes things go right, but clearly not all of the time. One hour later. Live show is done. Burrito is half consumed. It was unsurprisingly uncomfortable to eat a burrito while we talked about a book with lots and lots of NSFW things. <laughs> Plus it arrived like more than halfway through the show. I'm gonna finish my burrito, make more coffee, and then read Jade War. Get hype. Good morning, <clears throat> happy Sunday. I, yeah, I, I did not feel well last night. Um, the joys of being a lady, and I feel a lot better today. I also had not been sleeping well the last few nights before I started vlogging, so last, last night or this morning, I slept in quite late. Um, it is, it is quite late. Um, I tried making coffee again this morning. Hopefully it doesn't taste like soap. It doesn't smell like soap, it smells like fruity pebbles. Seems okay. Yeah, confirmed. Will not be receiving Nightmare Before Christmas coffee during this vlog, which is <sighs> tragic. You know, it is what it is. Hey, uh uh, cat. Do you want to get sprayed? I did read a bit of Jade City uh, yesterday. Um, 
not as much as I would have liked. Um, but I think, I do think it's absolutely realistic for me to finish it today as long as I don't like, as long as nothing happens or I don't start feeling crappy again, which I really shouldn't. Um, I, I mean, unless it's for a completely different reason that I feel crappy. But yeah, so <clears throat> plan for the rest of today. Enjoy all of this lovely coffee that doesn't taste like soap. Yes. Make breakfast. I think I'm gonna make ube mochi pancakes and read Jade City. I did start on audio tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow yesterday, like uh, while I made lunch and stuff like that. I didn't get very far. Um, and in fact, I started listening to it over again because I realized that I hadn't been paying attention. <laughs> um, Cause I wasn't feeling well. Uh, it's very early to say, <clears throat> but if I am to predict how I will feel about this book, I'm, I'm guessing that I will feel like it's fine. Like, it's it's a fairly intriguing premise. Like, I think I the characters are, are seem decently interesting to me. But I very seriously doubt this is going to be, like, an all-time fave. I could be wrong. But I don't think I'm going to loathe it unless something, like, ridiculous happens in it. Uh, and I lose it and I get all nitpicky about it. Unless something like that happens. Um, I feel like it's going to be fine. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to hate it by any means. We'll see. Um, but it, it didn't like suck me in immediately. I mean, clearly I zoned out. <laughs> but when I re-listened to it and paid attention the second time, I was like, oh, actually that's, that's decently interesting. It's not like amazing. Um, if you told me I could never read this book, like I could never finish it, I wouldn't be that sad about it. <laughs> but it's, it's an, a decently interesting beginning anyway. So that's my review of the little bit that I read of tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. But yeah, today, finishing Jade City, number one priority, and uh, making some more progress on tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Uh, if I can finish that by the end of today, that would be excellent, because then it would be another book done for July. <laughs> Well, I did it. I finished Jade War and oh my god, it's so good. 
Oh, it is exhausting though to read. Not because it's like long and complicated or anything like that. Like, uh, not because of, you know, like, like some books are, it's just like so dense that it's like exhausting to read. That's not what I mean at all. I mean like, uh, like my heart can't take it. <laughs> like it's so intense. And I just know that it's gonna get more intense in Jane's Legacy. I understand now why people have like expressed a fear of reading Jane's Legacy. <laughs> Although, I mean, I really, really, really want to read Jane's Legacy, but oh my god. So, so good. Okay, I'll film a review for this. I don't know how coherent that review will be because it'll just be me being like, it's so good. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I feel like I don't know what to do with the rest of my day. Um, just like, after finishing that book, I just uh, need to like come down from that. So good. So, so good. It took me so long to read it. Also, because it took me so long to read it, I kind of, I mean, I didn't read it like in two parts, but I kind of like read a bunch of it a couple months ago and then put it aside and now read. I, I So I kind of read like the first half and then the second half. So like when I think about everything that happened in this book, because to me it feels like um, some things um, happened in a previous book, but uh, but not in Jade City. I know they didn't happen in Jade City, but they don't feel like they happened in this book because I read that part longer ago. But when I remember that, that happened in this book too, God, this book has a lot in it. It really packs a punch. Hopefully. So yeah. So good, so good. Whew. Yeah. Oh my god. So good. So it is coming up on 5.30. So I will probably, uh, I need to tidy the kitchen because I haven't been doing that. I've just been letting everything pile up in there. So I'll listen to tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow while I tidy the kitchen. Tomorrow and tomorrow is not going to be well served by the by reading it immediately after Jade War. Like the juxtaposition, the immediate comparison will be doing it no favors. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I've got on deck as my audiobook right now. So I'll listen to that while I while I tidy. And um yeah we'll see we'll see where the evening takes us. Food will probably be consumed. I'll if I you know I'll make a little more actual progress on tomorrow and tomorrow so I'll be able to tell you after a little more than just like I vaguely feel like it's gonna be fine. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. If you can't tell, I'm just, I'm still just recovering from finishing this amazing book. Whew. Everything's fine. I'm gonna go tidy the kitchen and read a guaranteed to be lesser book. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. Well, I'm about a quarter of the way through tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and I like it definitely don't love it but I also think that it's just like I don't really play video games I never really have um, I mean growing up I used to play with my brother but like racing games just like so he and I could play together but I've never really played video games by myself at all because I just like I'm it was like something to do with my brother and he'd always want to play and I'd be like sure I'll like snowboard 
uh, race with you or Star Wars uh, bomb bed racing or things like that just to have something to do with him. I'm not a gamer, much to my brother's chagrin. <laughs> so I just feel like a lot of this book's appeal is for gamers. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I'm not one. So and it's not a it's not like Ready Player One, which I have not read, but I have no interest in reading, where it's like just littered with references. This isn't so much like the I'm not saying I can't appreciate it because I don't get all the references. There are some references, um, but they're the kind of references that even I get and all like, you know, my knowledge of gaming is pretty like by osmosis. Um, so it's not like inaccessible to somebody who's not like a big gamer or anything. But I don't know, the way that it presents like the characters' worldviews as like through the lens of video games, it's just not something that I really relate to that much because I just, I just don't care about games that much. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with games, I got nothing against it, it's just not something that I particularly see the, see the appeal of or find that diverting. So like I think the characters are pretty good and I think some of the conversations it's wanting to have are pretty good. So I am, I, I don't hate it and um, I'm gonna finish it and I'm more, I'm overall I'm, I would say I'm enjoying it. I just think it's not gonna really hit for me the way that it might for someone who was into video games. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight. Uh, so I think I'm I'm done. I'm still recovering from Jade War. And like that's again, that's, as I said, it's not helping. Like I'm just like, I was so into Jade War. So picking this up, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm not into games that much and <laughs> it's no Jade War. So I think it would, the book would be better served by me not trying to finish it tonight just because. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow or the day after. I have three days left on my on my hold from the library, so I can do it tomorrow or the day after. It's not a very long book. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang out, watch some TV, and call it a night. And that'll be the end of my weekend. Not terribly eventful, but a nice weekend. Finished Jade War. Didn't get my my fun coffee, but can't have everything. And I will get my coffee, just just not during this vlog. <laughs> the next day. Monday morning, my coffee's here. So figured I'd do a little unboxing for you since it just barely missed the vlog uh, time window. Cat. Start with the boring one, my weekend coffee, the Fruity Pebbles flavored coffee because I need it every weekend. No kids, stop. And then five kids. Can we not right now? And there's the five Nightmare Before Christmas flavors. What if you didn't do it? Hmm? So the five flavors are Pumpkin King, which is pumpkin pecan praline. It says squeeze and sniff. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, it's a smooth medium roast coffee with creamy pumpkin, nutty pecan, and sweet praline to create a brew fit for a pumpkin king. Then there's rough weather, which is oatmeal cream pie. Uh, it's imagine sweet, soft, chewy oatmeal cookies with a decadent buttercream filling, then swirl, swirl it in a steaming cup of smooth, bold Arabica coffee. Rough weather is dreamy and delicious. It will leave you with absolutely zero regrets. <laughs> Then a uh, mudslide boogie. It has notes of rich chocolate combined with the decadent flavor trifecta of coffee liqueur, vodka, and Irish cream. We'll have you hearing sounds of the dice and music in the air. Then uh, frog's breath, which I'm very intrigued by. It's chocolate mole flavored or chocolate mole. I'm not sure, but it, the flavor is, um, frog's breath is a cunning concoction of coffee, chocolate, and spice. It's smooth and flavorful, they balanced and spicy finish. A captivating brew that will leave you yearning for another scrumptious sip. So I'm guessing it's like kind of like Mexican hot chocolate. Um, you know, like a little like spicy as in like peppery. We'll find out. And last but not least is Santa Jack, which is cranberry cream, uh, cranberry creme brulee. Uh, festive cranberry sweetness married with decadent creme brulee and our smooth Arabica coffee makes cranberry creme brulee the holiday flavor you never knew you needed. So that's my coffee haul. And my plan to get through this Monday is to try all of them. Now I won't try all of them, but I might try more than one. Uh, back to the vlog or the end of the vlog, or I don't know where this is going, but um.
So I think that'll about do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know stuff and things in the comments down below. Uh, and I'll see you when I see you.